On today's comparison, we'll be comparing two popular remotes, the Flipski VX1 and the Flipski VX2. Welcome to Mboard's quick comparison. Starting off with an unboxing of the VX1, we'll see the box comes neatly packaged containing the following. An instruction manual, micro USB charging cable, receiver that connects to your ESC with the appropriate heat shrink, two UART cables, one PPM cable, one battery voltage wire, and last but not least, the VX1 remote with a wrist strap. Taking a look at the side of the VX1, we can see a labeled power button, an unmarked speed mode and setting selection button, an LED light to display signal strength also shared with speed mode indicator, and four LED lights for your board's battery percentage indicator, along with one LED light for your remote's battery percentage indicator. And located on the bottom is a micro USB port for charging the remotes, along with a loop to attach your wrist strap. And located on the top is the accelerating and braking wheel. Some features that the VX1 contains are a cruise control function, three different speed modes ranging from low, medium, and high, 2.4 GHz radio transmission, battery indicator for the board, a battery indicator for the remote, a rechargeable lithium ion battery for the remote, a reverse function, a remote auto off if the remote battery is lower than 2.8 volts, and vibration feedback. Moving on to an unboxing of the VX2, not so much different from the VX1, we can see the box comes neatly packaged containing the following. An instruction manual, the VX2 remote itself, along with its wrist strap, a receiver that connects to your ESC with the appropriate heat shrink size, Two UART cables, one 7 pin, the other being 8 pin, and a micro USB charging cable. Taking a look at the back side of the VX2, we can see a display screen, a thumb wheel, a labeled power button, an unmarked speed mode and setting mode selection button. A micro USB port and a loop to attach the wrist strap. Some features that the VX2 contains are a colored display screen, an upgraded rechargeable lithium ion battery to handle 12 working hours, real time data monitoring such as distance tracking, a more accurate board and remote battery reading, a display of current amps being drawn from the board, the current speed mode the current direction that the board is in, whether it's reverse or forward, a nice graphical symbol for your connection status, along with choices between kilometer per hour and mile per hour. Continuing the features of the VX2, which you'll find to be similar to the VX1 are a cruise control function, three different speed modes, low, medium, and high, 2.4 gigahertz radio reception, the board's battery indicator, the remote's battery indicator, a reverse function, remote auto off if the remote is not in use within 10 minutes, along with vibration feedback. To conclude, the VX1 and the VX2 are very similar in many ways. The main differences are that the VX2 has a longer battery life, the VX2 also has onboard data monitoring, which also contains information not provided by the VX1, such as distance, amp draw, and speed, and so on. One thing to note, if purchasing directly from M-Boards, the VX1 will come included with two UART cables and one PPM cable. The VX2 will come included with two UART cables, a 7-pin and an 8-pin. Typically, if ordering directly from Flipski, you'll have to choose the appropriate cables before placing your order. And that's it. Hopefully this quick comparison will help you further solidify your decision on which Flipski remote to go with. Stay tuned for the review of the VX3. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the Flipski VX1 and VX2. See you on the next one.